Hello folks, in my last blog on setting up detox grey box test automation framework, I have covered these topics given the blog link in video description for your reference. So in this blog we will set up CI for detox test using GitHub Actions and Azure pipelines. I have given some details on GitHub Actions free tier in my blog, you can check that out. So moving on to integrating our tests with GitHub Actions, we need to create workflows in our project for that. You can create your workflows by using two different ways. From ID you can add the github.github .github workflows folder and you can place your YAML files under this directory or else you can use the GitHub Actions. So this is a Java Selenium Maven project, uh, demo project which I have. I just click on this action button. Now you can see various configurations are suggested for this repository. So since it's a Java Maven, I will click on this. Now it automatically brings up a YAML file under .github workflows where I can edit as per my requirements I, and I can commit this into repository. This will create a pipeline or workflow for my Java Selenium Maven which I can trigger it. I'll just cancel the changes. Okay, now uh, moving on to the YAML file. I have given this workflow name as Android and uh, this is an event trigger. Uh, like you can run your uh, workflow manually or automatically using various uh, event triggers provided by action. I have given workflow underscore dispatch. This will allow me to manually trigger the workflow. Also there are various options like uh, push pull request you can use. Mac OS latest, I am using this agent. Uh, action pro GitHub Actions provides you Windows and Ubuntu with different versions. You can check that out. These are the tasks provided by GitHub Action Marketplace. So uh, this checkout will get my repository under a GitHub workspace so that my workflow can access it. And uh, I am installing the node by using this setup node task. You can check out various tasks provided by GitHub Action Marketplace. And I am installing JDK version 8 I am using. To run your uh, detox test in Android emulator, you need to create an emulator in Mac OS latest, whichever agent you are using. So this can be done by using command line. So I have simply uh, given the command line which helps us to create a, a, a Android. So I have given the emulator name as test emulator. You can always check out like what are the op uh, options provided by the agent. You can just check out from the GitHub action documents. Okay, I'm using the Mac OS latest. You can see this label. I'll just click on this Mac OS 11. So you can see what all the options are there in the agents by default. You can see it provides me Xcode, various Xcode and also the, uh, okay, I'm using 12.4 so I can use any simulator from here when I install Xcode 12.4 version and also you can see the Android related configurations. So these are the Android SDK platforms available in the macOS latest image and few environment variables by default they have set. Okay. And I'm installing my uh, node modules from package.json and then I'm running my metro server since I'm using a debug build I'm doing this if you are working on a release build you don't need to run a metro server package you can skip this step I'm using uh, de detox build command to build my app and I'm running my detox test using the command which we all know I have explained this in my last blog and I am uploading the test artifacts whatever I created so I am recording videos and taking screenshots I am uploading this artifacts to the github actions you can see so this is the android and ios workflows that I created for this detox github actions repository I, uh, okay. So you can see the uh, runs here, I will click on Android. So you can see the artifacts, I can download artifacts which provides me video and screenshot of test run. If I click on build, you can see the logs and what are the various stages I have used here. I have used the install node and Java version, Android emulator, all these got passed and also you can see the 
build logs here. Let me just show the iOS as well. Similarly for iOS, you can see all the logs related to your workflow run here. Okay, so this is how we can integrate our detox test with GitHub Actions. Thanks folks.